Here we are in our example form 1040, populating it with Lacert Tax Software. You don't need tax software to follow along, but it's a great tool to run scenarios with. You can also get access to the form 1040 related schedules and forms at the IRS website. This website renewaldependence.com irs.gov irs.gov so our starting point like normal single filer mr anderson we've got the 100,000 w2 income the 12,950 for the standard deduction 87,050 for the taxable income we can mirror that on our worksheet where we have let's let's fix it here so we got 100,000 12,950 87,050 page two doing the calculation in the tax software 14774 15000 of the w2 withholdings gets us down to the 225 and that's mirrored over here as well okay back to the software we're mainly focused on page 1 looking at that uh, calculation getting down to the taxable income so we're looking at jury duty now so if we go to jury duty then the general concept would be well if you got paid by the jury duty then you'd have to include it in income and so we saw that in the income section but then you might say well yeah but if i had to to pay that money back to my employer because my employer was paying me as i went to jury duty and they were like we since we're already paying you we want you to to give us the jury duty money because we're just paying you your normal uh salary or something like that then you end up in a situation where you might have to include it in income because the IRS tax code says that everything that is income needs to be included unless there's an exception, but then you may also be able to remove it back out so that the adjusted gross income will go back down to zero. So the net effect will typically will be then we're going to be increasing the income line by the jury duty pay, and then we'll adjust it back out with the adjustment to income so that it doesn't mess up the IRS. They can see it included in the income line. If they have that information on their side, it won't mess anything up. And then we're going to remove it back out because we didn't actually get to keep the income. So there's no net effect on the adjusted gross income. That's what we're looking for. So let's see what that might look like. We're going to go to schedule scheduled election one and say there was jury duty income. So that's line H here. Line H. We're going to say, boom, it was a horrible case. I've been traumatized by it. I should be, I, they should be paying me way more for so there it is there's 1000 that's going to be included over here on first page of the form 1040 so now we've got the 1000 included and then we're going to remove it back out with the adjustment so let's do, let's do this in our worksheet too just for the for the joy of it the simple joy of it so we're going to say that schedule income is going to be increased i should have jury duty because i well, maybe not. I don't know. I'm going to set more. Well, let's add it. Jury, jury duty. Is that how you spell it? Let's say 1,000. 1,000 from jury duty. There's one R in jury. I named my dog jury. So that's, this is jury's jury duty. Jury duty. That's what I have to pick up when I go walk the dog. It's jury duty. In any case. If I sum that up, let's sum it. Let's actually just put that on the outside here. Why don't I put that out here? And then it sums up to a thousand. Pulling that over to page one, there, there it is. 